Tyrell Malassia has all the attributes needed to become what Kyle Walker is to Pep for Eric Ten Hag, and that is what I'd refer to as a recovery fullback. The fullback role is probably the role that has evolved most over the past decade or two, going from a diligent defender focused on defence first to a winger-like attacker in possession, to then almost a central midfielder with the inverted fullbacks of Zinchenko and Jao Cancelo. But whilst most of these evolutions are focused on increasing the fullbacks' attacking output, there is still the need for fullbacks who excel defensively, and I think Malassia like Kyle Walker at City is one of those. In the modern game, we are now familiar with the 3-2-5 WM shape, the 2-3-5 inverted pyramid, and the 3-1-6, but most of the time we are looking at systems from an offensive point of view. But obviously, there is also a defensive component to the setup. In the inverted pyramid 2-3-5 shape, most commonly associated with Pep Centurion Manchester City side, but also used by Ten Hag at Manchester United, but specifically for City, the fullbacks would invert, not only giving City a numerical advantage in possession, but also two players in these wider midfield positions sitting behind the ball in case of a turnover and a quick counter from the opposition. And so whilst fullbacks like Alejandro Balde overlap on their flank and Zinchenko take up a deeper line midfield position, we also have fullbacks like Malassia who can sit behind the play as defensive cover. Whether this will be when he's dropped into a back three alongside Martinez and Varane, or when he's sitting in the three ahead of the two in a 2-3-5. And Malassia suits this role perfectly, having the speed to race back and keep pace with even the fastest attacking players but also having the physicality and the slide tackling ability to get back and make what really is a trademark sliding tackle. From his FB Riff report, we can see that Malassia certainly is a high volume tackler, especially in a defensive third, making him perfectly suited to racing back and making those recovery tackles. But he's also a front foot defender as well, ranking around the 80th percentile for his interceptions. And whilst I wouldn't say that he's at the elite level in terms of his 1v1 defending, an area that does still need development, he still ranks fairly modestly around the 50th percentile for the amount of dribblers he has tackled, as well as the percentage he has tackled as well. And so Malassia can effectively be used as an insurance policy at the back, remaining behind the ball when United have possession in the final third, and so if there is a turnover and the opposition looks to counter quickly down the left, Malassia is already in the perfect position to cover this space, and move out to stop the player on that side. Malassia's pace and tackling ability makes him ideal for this role, as if you had someone like Fred in that area, he wouldn't have the athleticism or the one-on-one -on -one defending ability over large spaces to be able to stop electric wingers racing forward with the ball, such as Saka or Alan Samaxaman, for example. And without any player in that area when United have possession in the final third, they would be extremely susceptible to counter-attacks into that space. We also saw Ancelotti deploy Camavinga in this role against Chelsea in the Champions League. Here Fofana has possession after a turnover in Chelsea's half and he plays a very good one-two with Kante before bursting through the centre of the pitch and if his run is allowed to carry on then Real are in quite an uncomfortable position with the two centre-backs exposed. However Camavinga like Malassia has the recovery pace and tackling ability to stop Fofana's run and win the ball back with a fantastically timed tackle stopping the attack before it could even advance into a dangerous position. In possession we saw Camavinga holding a wider position when the ball was on Real was left, opening up that passing lane for Alaba to circulate the ball into, but once the ball was moved in field, Camavinga would also move in field and hold a conventional defensive midfield position, in the perfect area to recover and stop a potential Chelsea counter-attack if it occurred, and Malassia has a lot of similar defensive and physical attributes to Camavinga, and so I think this is a role that the Dutchman also would suit very well. Now even though the obvious comparisons are there between Malassia and Evra, with both being diminutive, quick and excellent defensive fullbacks who also played for Manchester United, I actually think it's Ashley Cole who is a closer comparison, with the former Chelsea man in my opinion being the best left back of all time, with Roberto Carlos and Paolo Maldini close behind. If you're old enough to remember the Premier League in the mid 2000s, you'll surely agree that Cole is the best Premier League left back of all time, or at least a worthy contender for the best left back in history. But unlike Trent Alexander-Arnold or Joe Cancelo, it wasn't his attacking ability that got him that standing, but his defensive ability, with Cole putting in one of the best defensive displays of all time against Manchester United, and specifically a 21-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo in the 2006-2007 season. Cole's body positioning, reading of the game and focus on the ball was elite throughout the game, which combined with his acceleration and slide tackling ability, made him a formidable opponent for Ronaldo in 1v1s, with Cristiano attempting to take Cole down his outside and also on his inside as well, but failing on several occasions. And all of Cole's attributes that I just listed off, I think Malassia could also develop as well, giving him a very similar defensive skill set to the former Chelsea man. 
Particularly in the Champions League, with sides recognising the need to counter, Malassia and even Ashley Cole, if he was playing now, would be similar sort of fullbacks to Kyle Walker, quick recovery fullbacks who offer more defensively than they do in possession. And just like Kyle Walker, I think Tyrell Malassia, alongside the likes of Ben White, Nathan Ake, Pierre Kalulu, and Yuri and Timber, can all become elite level recovery fullbacks, with Malassia in particular being someone who I think will be one of the longest serving players at United who is currently there, in the same way that Patrice Evra was from 2006 to 2014.